Good morning. We're currently at Maryborough Showgrounds and what you can see in amongst the grass are caterpillars. They stretch, I'd say, in the line, the length of the 29 foot swagman. I'm zooming in the best I can. I really want them to come out the other end, but I'm gonna try and track them. They're not actually joined joined, they're just crawling along behind each other. In all my life of living in the country, I've never ever seen anything like this. Okay, so we have a chain link of little caterpillars crawling underneath the bus. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch it on the way on the other side. Because I'm guessing at this point in time, because it is still coming, it would actually be almost the length of the bus. And the bus is 29 foot. So it's something I've never seen. We are laying at the front of the Swagman. 29 foot, there's the front wheel. And we are watching the caterpillars crawl out from underneath. Absolutely spectacular. And they actually are doing a snaking motion, so they'd actually be longer than 29 foot laid out in a straight line because they're still coming from the back of the bus. And they've snaked around, so I reckon they'd be at least 35 feet. Yeah, so zooming in so you can see a little bit of the underneath the swaggy there. Look, it's going to come back up to the front of the line because this is just something spectacular. Okay, so here's the front of the caterpillars and I'm just going to walk, see, so they're at the front of the bus now and they go behind the front wheel and you can sort of see part of their trail there, that little bit in the sun they continue now not that you can actually see them but I'm just doing this so give you an idea over our little front step and you can still see the little caterpillars all in a line snaking along the grass If you look carefully, you can still see them. And we are almost at the end of the run. up of some of the little caterpillars moving their way through. They're coming up to the end so I'm going to keep going until the end and then I'm going to go and find the leader of the pack. As you can see, they're not joined, they're just nose to bum. 
fall on each other really, really closely. Absolutely amazing little creatures. Here we are, we've got the last lot coming into view now. And the last one, bless its little cotton socks, is one of the most thinner ones that's in the pack. Or group, I don't know what you call a bunch of caterpillars all together. And that's the last little one just there. So we're gonna stop this and go and find the front. And this here, is the leader of that caterpillar line. So funny, the leader will move and then stop and wait for the other one till he can feel it touching him again or sensing however the caterpillars work before he keeps going. Now this has been a long, slow process, let me tell you. And I'm going to be really specific and I'm actually going to, when they're all out from under the bus, I'm gonna count how many caterpillars there are. So we can just add that to our little list of our caterpillar train facts for the day. Now the train of caterpillars have all finished coming out from under the swagman. They are still all in their little line, still snaking along. Such gorgeous little creatures. I'm just grateful we're in a quiet area so no one's gonna come and run them over because it looks like they're actually about to start crossing the little road here in between campsites at the showground. Well, I've just done a count, the best that I can of wiggling caterpillars and I counted 161 of the little buggers. And now they're crossing the road path at the showground. Still snaking along. If you look really closely, here we've got the end of the caterpillar line. It's really hard for me to actually see at the moment too. Okay, but if you look really, really closely, hopefully it's going to pick up the little silk trail. Yep, there you go, part of the little silk trail that the caterpillars have left on their journey. <laughs>